Well, this evening at 7, Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh will deliver his virtual State of the City address, and he'll do it from the brand new Salt City Market. News Channel Line's Julia LeBlanc caught up with the mayor ahead of the speech. She joins us now live in the studio. Is there a theme here, Julia? There sure is, Dana Nicole. Now, the theme here is standing strong. We all know 2020 was hard for everyone. Those living here are facing the pandemic, plus issues dealing with race, inequality, and police reform. But through it all, Mayor Walsh says everyone worked as a team, had tough discussions, and got through it. Despite all those barriers, Walsh says all the projects he had planned for last year are either complete or they're being worked on right now. COVID-19 has cost the city $40 million in revenue, tabling some of those initiatives. Now, as we go back to his 2020 State of the City address, Mayor Walsh talked about plans for the sidewalk snow removal program that was put in place but had to be cut during COVID. He also introduced a new lead ordinance which was passed and now holds landlords accountable in a court of law. Then, of course, there's the STEAM school at the old Central Tech High School building in downtown Syracuse, also delayed by the pandemic. But Mayor Walsh says they're starting construction this year. That's part of the goal of this speech is to be very realistic about the challenges that we have faced and will continue to face, but remind people of what we have accomplished and all of the great things that we have ahead of us. Now, talking about big projects, there's no greater project than the reconstruction of Interstate 81. And with Chuck Schumer coming into his role as Senate Majority Leader, plus interest from the governor and a new transportation secretary, Mayor Walsh says those plans are accelerating too.